So let me turn to more estimate-related questions, and you probably have guessed the first thing I'll ask you about is the last thing I asked you about when you were here last time, and that's the Phoenix Pay System. Uh, I know that you're not the minister responsible for the system, but as the Minister of Defence and all your civilian employees, we're still seeing very severe problems in morale, uh, recruitment and retention as a result of the pay problems. Uh, and I asked you at the end of November, you promised to fix the cases for three individuals which were fairly egregious. That finally did happen, but it took months, despite your good intentions, it took months to do that. Uh, after I asked you in the House of Commons, Minister Faltrow's uh, office approached me and said, give us your worst cases. We gave them 14 cases on the 2nd of February. Nothing has happened on any of those cases. So my question to you as the Minister is, what is it that you can do as the Minister to help out the employees, the civilian employees of D&D who are still, uh, literally in my writing, hundreds of them suffering with incorrect pay, uh, impacts on their child benefits, impacts on their tax system. So what, as Minister, are you able to do to assist them with these problems? No, so first of all, um, I want to completely agree with you that uh, this is unacceptable and we do need to, we have a lot more work to do on this. And every department uh, is, is, is affected and uh, we do have a significant number of em em employees. Um, and we will go uh, case by case. So, so some of the names, and I'll have the deputy minister just to answer that because we actually have addressed them. Um, but one thing I ask you is whether um, uh, bring up in house, no problem. If you want to do that, it's your prerogative. But please give me the, the email me directly about access to it, or most quickest way possible to me. And I can assure you, I will have those names directly to the deputy minister so that we can be addressed. I know that she uh, works on this on a regular basis, and I get a weekly update on this. Can I, can I just, I'm sorry, I'm just going to cut off the Deputy Minister. Can I just say that the Band-Aid approach here, you can't fix this uh, egregious case by egregious case because they continue to pile up. It's not that there's no new cases. Um, so I, I appreciate uh, your offer and we will take you up on every one of those and you will be surprised at how many hundreds we have to give you.